Hey everybody, this is Josh with CupAd. This is the third video in the Cafe Cash Flow Management series. And today we're going to be talking about the parameter sheet. So the first question should be, what is the parameter sheet? Well, the parameter sheet is basically a place where you put in all of your assumptions, like how much, how many hours your workers are going to work every week, how many days of the week they work. And then you also put in things and assumptions like how much you're selling each average cup of coffee for, or, and you're also putting in expenses that you have. And the reason you put it all in one sheet is um, it allows you to run scenarios really quickly. So if you, if you for instance, uh, having a parameter sheet will allow you to say, okay, if the cup of coffee uh, price changes, any of these variables change, I can just change it in the parameter sheet and all the other sheets will change. If you didn't have the parameter sheet, you would have to physically go through every single sheet and change them yourself. So that's the, the wonderful thing about the parameter sheet. So let me just go through an example really quick here. Um, let's, let's assume that you're a mature coffee shop and um, this is the growth projection sheet and we're assuming that you're going, you're selling about 11,600 cups every single month. Okay, now let's say that you're, you're buying your cups for eight cents a piece and that's right here, your cups. Now let's say that you, you called up cup ad and you're like, um, and we were able to supply you with your cups for free. So you change that expense to zero. It went from, this went from eight cents to zero. Now, now that I've changed that to zero, you can come over here to your monthly income statement and you'll notice that it's zero in your monthly income statement too. And you'll notice that your gross margin, which is your revenue minus your cost of goods sold, is $34,800 for month one. Now let's, let's go back to the parameter sheet and see how much that changes when we change that back to $0.08. Cents. Go to the monthly income statement sheet. Now it's only $33,000 and $872. Um, and your expense for those cups is $928 that month. So that's just a, a real quick example of running a scenario, seeing how you can save money and, and cut costs. Now one more thing I want to show you guys today is how to insert more inputs into your parameter sheet because I designed this cafe form to be very simple and the reason is, is because everyone's going to have different costs and expenses and I want you guys to be able to change them yourselves to better fit your needs. So if you come over here underneath your fixed cost and you click on 18 you want to right click on it and you'll see this option to insert. Now once you've inserted this you'll notice that you've now created another row. That's what these 18, 17, 19 and so on, those are all called rows. You've now created another row. So you're going to go into this row and you're going to create a new expense. Let's say that it is um, a water truck expense because you have a guy come to your coffee shop every single month and he, he gives you water. Okay, let's say that that costs you a hundred dollars every single month for this guy to come and deliver water to you. Now now that we've put it in the parameter sheet, we need to program it into your monthly income statement so that it will change all the other sheets. So now you're going to click on your monthly income statement, you're going to come over to 16, you're going to right click on 16 and you're going to insert another row and then you're going to hit equal. Now whenever you press equal that allows you to copy another cell. So if I press equal here and I pressed on this cell, it's going to make 325 appear in this cell. So I press equal and I'm going to click on my parameter sheet and I'm going to click on water truck. So now water truck has been pasted in my monthly income statement right here. And all it's doing is pulling from parameter A 18 which is in the parameter sheet and that happens to say water truck. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to click uh, I'm going to do another equal sign here I'm going to go back to the parameter sheet and I'm going to uh, go over near water truck and press 100 which is B18 and now I'm going to press enter and then that 100 is now over here in the income statement. So now that cost has been added into your income statement and is changing all of your other cost. So what happens if I want to add this 100 to month 2, month 3, month 4, but I don't want to have to press equal every time and go to the parameter sheet and do what we just did? Well, one thing that you can do is you can actually drag this over, and it will drag the 100 over. But before it will work, we're going to have to do something to the programming real quick. 
because if we drag it over like we have right now, it's going to add zeros. Now the reason it's adding zeros is because this is pulling information from B18, where it says 100. Over here in C, it's pulling information from C18, and then D18, and then E18, and et cetera, et cetera. So what is parameter C18? Come over to the parameter sheet. We'll notice C18 is right here, and there's nothing in that cell. So if we were to put a, something in the cell, like 999, and press Enter, and come back to the monthly income statement, you'll notice that 999 is now right there. So how can we make the 100 just be dragged all the way across and make it zero? Well, all we have to do is we come over here to the 100, we go up to the parameters where it says B18, we add a money sign in front of B and a money sign in front of 18, and we press enter. Now what that means is B18, whenever we pull this over, it's going to stay B18. So now 100 is, a, 100 is able to be pulled all the way across. This is called absolute formatting, and that is exactly how you do it. So that concludes today's tutorial on the parameter sheet. Stay tuned. We'll go through every one of the following sheets um, so that you'll be able to make your own financial form.